and then we reach proven product market fit. This video is brought to you by Procopia Law, the recommended law firm of Founders Floor. My definition of product market fit is we have 10 business customers who are paying for the product, using it in production, and are referenceable. Meaning, if a potential customer calls up the first customer and says, I'm thinking about buying this, what do you think? They're gonna say, this is fantastic, I use it all the time, you definitely have to buy it. Who here has heard of the Net Promoter Score? What it is is, it's a way of asking people a question in a standardized way of, would you recommend this product to a friend? On a scale of zero to 10, if you get a nine or a 10, you're a promoter. If you're zero to six, you're a detractor. If you're seven or eight, you're in the middle. And the math on the net promoter score is it's your promoters minus your detractors. So if everyone gives you a nine or a 10, you have a 100, 100%. If no one gives you anything better than a six, you have a minus 100. So your net promoter score can range from minus 100 to plus 100. Apple is plus 50, very high. A lot of people like Apple. Comcast, minus 20. A lot of people don't like Comcast. So the advantage of Net Promoter Score is thousands of companies use it and they ask exactly the same question exactly the same way. So you can compare your own customers over time and you can compare one product to another product. So when you have your 10 customers and you ask them that question in a standardized way, that gives a lot of information.